now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Good Tuesday morning, 19 minutes before the hour. Every year, the um, Oregon chapter of the American Meteorological Society conducts a winter weather forecast conference. It's usually held at OMSI, but for COVID reasons, uh, the last couple of years, this year included, uh, we are looking at having to do, do it virtually. That happened Saturday morning. And uh, they gather a lot of forecasters. Some are with television uh, over in the valley, others are with with the National Weather Service, with NOAA, the State Climatology Office, and a few other organizations as well. And they all gather together to give their best prediction of what the winter is going to be like. Well, there's been a little variation because of some of the methods used, but overall, the general consensus is that October through December is going to be cooler and wetter. Well, so far, that's proven to be just exactly the case. They're also saying that January through March will be colder and even wetter. Well, this is going to prove to be good news for a drought-ridden state like the state of Oregon. Um, not too many ventured to say how much snow was going to fall, but Kyle Dittmer, who is the hydrologist and meteorologist for the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission, uh, did say that uh, we were going to be looking at about 120 to 135 percent of normal snowfall in the Cascades. Well, so far that is starting to pan out as well. In fact, um, just this morning I saw that Mount Bachelor announced that uh, Friday, November 26th will be their opening day. So let's hope this is uh, going to hold, for, hold true. Well, Central Oregon, we are waking up to some wet streets here across the high desert, and it looks like they'll stay that way. We've also had some wind this morning. It's backed off a little bit at the uh, Bend Airport, 10 miles per hour there, where it's 41 degrees, been locked in at that for all morning. 44 at the Redmond Airport, and they're looking at an 8-mile-an-hour breeze directly out of the south. A lot of big storm activity in New England. Uh, they're looking at this system turning into a nor'easter, so they're bracing for even more snows through there. The Central Plains in good shape. Rocky Mountains getting some uh, wet weather. So is Western Washington and portions of Western Oregon. Uh, some of these rain bands have been working through Central Oregon. Consequently, we'll stay fairly wet and chilly throughout the day. This uh, westerly, northwesterly flow keeping a lot of cold air in our area. Even when we get a shift tomorrow, we'll still have a chance of some scattered showers, but you'll get more sunshine and likely that the temperatures will stay cold. We're going to have to wait till Thursday before we warm up much. Even then, it doesn't last long. Uh, we'll see highs Thursday, as you'll see, in the mid to upper 60s. The winds have already shown some signs of ramping up, and these southerly, southwesterly winds will see gusts as high as 30 to 35 miles an hour in some areas, so kind of a blustery day. Mid-30s to mid-40s to get the day underway. We'll see a couple of more chilly days. Thursday looks to be about the best. We may get a shower or two Thursday night uh, and carry that into Friday morning. That'll be fairly short-lived, so nice warm temperatures to conclude the work week. We'll be chilly with a variable cloud cover for the weekend, but it doesn't look like we'll see any showers until about 